Okay, the next topic uh, that we're going to discuss in uh, uh, grammar and in diagramming sentences is the idea of what to do with prepositions and prepositional phrases. Um, prepositional phrases basically are words that connect nouns or verbs to other nouns. Uh, so there are about 70 common prepositions. There are more than that, actually, but there are these are the ones that are sort of the core group. So basically they connect and they kind of modify either a noun or uh, a verb, basically. Um, and right now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to press pause and write these down in your notes. So you need to press pause and write these down in your notes. Okay. Okay. Um, and then uh, you're going to need to pause it again and finish with these. So press pause and write these down. Okay. Um, <clears throat> basically, prepositions are followed by a noun. They couldn't connect uh, two things unless they were actually followed by something. So we see, say here, the man from Seattle was very nice. Seattle is the object of the prep preposition. Everybody likes the book written by Stephen King. Stephen King is the object of the preposition by. Those kids are standing next to the library. Next to is sort of a, what we call a compound preposition. That movie is about a dragon. So those are some things to look at. Now, how do we diagram them? Well, um, kind of like adjectives, it's a di the preposition becomes a diagonal line underneath um, the noun. Right now, uh, well, the examples I'm going to give you today are only where prepositional phrases are modifying nouns. So right here, the man from, from is modifying man, and then Texas is the ob object of the preposition. The sentence being, the man from Texas purchased a book. So obviously man is the noun, the is, the, is modifying man, from, and then Texas. The object becomes uh, a flat horizontal line connected to the preposition. And then just like everything else, purchased is over here, verb like it was before, book is over here, the direct object. Remember, book is direct object, and then A is identifying the book. Another example, the woman at the restaurant ate lunch. So right here, uh, woman is the subject, so she's over here. Eight is the verb is here. Lunch is the direct object over there. But then the is modifying woman. When it comes to the preposition, at is the preposition, and then restaurant here is the horizontal line. Now the, of course, is modifying restaurant. The is modifying restaurant, so the goes in this diagonal line right here. If I said the woman at the purple restaurant ate lunch, then purple would go in a diagonal line also as well over here. So that is how we diagram prepositional phrases.